You ever get asked the dreaded interview question, tell me about yourself? I'm like, how long have you got? And can I lie down on a couch to tell you? Well, it all started with my family of origin. No, <laughs> no one wants to hear all that in an interview and that's not what uh, you need to use as your answer. Recently, MSNBC asked me to sit down and visit with them about how you answer the tell me about yourself question. And I think it all begins with some sense of self-awareness. Do you know yourself well enough to know what you're good at and what you're not good at? What work gives you energy and what work leaves you feeling tired? If you can start to understand yourself and then understand the person you're interviewing with, now you're ready to answer the question. For instance, oh Jeff, I am so excited about the work you're doing here today. Your company's been here 150 years and has so, shown slow, steady growth, and you need somebody to look after compliance and make sure that everything's done exactly right. That's me. I'm neat. I'm orderly. Go in my closet and you'll see that everything is not just where it should be, but it's labeled and where it should be. I like doing the same thing the same way every day. Back when I worked for the federal government, they asked me to follow a very particular process. Then I went into an engineering firm where everything had to be done according to plan and I got great reviews there and built even better systems. So when you come to me and say, our well-established company needs someone to help with compliance, I'm pretty sure that the me that I've learned over the years of slow, steady, repeatable, attention to detail work, that's me. Yeah, you put me in sales where I'm under the gun to get a number and I gotta run around from thing to thing, I would go crazy. That's what I think about when you say, tell me about myself. I think about what I know about me, what I know you need, and when I see that the two match up, I get pretty excited about the chance to interview with you. You see what happened there? I didn't tell a life story. I didn't weave in anything other than some self-awareness about where I flourish and where I don't and how it matches what I'm interviewing for. If you'll do that before you ever get to the interview, it'll save you a lot of interview time with jobs you shouldn't do. I should never interview for a chief compliance officer. All of that about working for the government, completely not William at all. I love going from thing to thing. I'm a seven on the Enneagram. Let's go to the next party. Put me in sales, put me in marketing. Compliance, not my cup of tea. If you'll get self-aware, you'll begin to know what parts of yourself to share in an interview that'll win you the job.